Hello everyone, welcome to our Daily Man. Today, I want us to talk about building peace and resolving conflict in our lives personally. According to psychologists and counselors, there are six underlying causes of intractable conflict among people. When I say intractable, these are issues that it's so hard or it takes a lot of time to be resolved. Number one is the moral differences between people. Number two is the issues of justice. Number three, the rights of people. Number four is unmet human needs. And number five, identity issues. And lastly, distributional issues. But when the scientists, scholars, psychologists, and counselors would have studied this, they understood that there are actually three common factors among all of this intractable conflict between people. And number one is the most common, the issue of communication. You would see that when people would not communicate properly, conflict would arise. And sometimes when people would communicate, they always think that and assume that the people that they talk to have understood what they mentioned, only to find out that they fail in communicating properly. But this is one thing that we need to consider, that whenever conflict would arise, it's because that lack of communication or not communicating properly has occurred between the conversation. And the second thing that psychologists have noted here is the issue of proving who is right and correct. There are times that when people would re- try to resolve conflict, that they try to prove themselves right or the reason that behind the action that they did, they always try to prove it right. And the other person who is on the other end, they try to prove them wrong. But you see, in the course of doing so, they always end up being in conflict because they tend to quarrel. They tend to argue instead of discussing and listening properly. And thirdly, the issue of comparison and contrast. You would understand that comparison is actually the stiller of joy. And when people would start to compare, that's also the time where conflict would arise among themselves. But in all of these things, you would also understand that whenever there is conflict, there is hurt, anger. And when there is anger, there's also revenge. And when revenge is not being put out or anger is not being put out, it can also be, you know, it can also be considered as depression. And a lot of people has directed anger to themselves only to find out that it was depression all along. And you see, we ask the question. We ask that question as people of this generation, as Christians, how can we cultivate peace within ourselves and share it with those people around us? How can we cultivate that peace that comes from God and share it to those people around us? There are three things that I have drawn here. Number one, we listen to understand. Whenever we communicate with someone or whenever conflict would arise, you see, as Christians, we are never exempted with any conflict in life, even inside the church. And so whenever those things would happen, we always need to remember that when we listen, we listen to other to those people around us, we listen to others, we listen to understand. Most of the time, what we do is we listen to respond because we want a rebuttal to whatever things that they will be mentioning to us. But that's not the case for us as Christians. We listen to understand. And the second thing is that we need to clothe ourselves with kindness. In the course of proving ourselves right, you see, we also need to exemplify humility because that is how Jesus Christ did it. He exemplified humility. And in doing that, by showing kindness to others, to those people that we discuss, to those people, to those people that we have conflict, we can actually allow ourselves to be kind and show what Jesus Christ has showed to those people during his time. And thirdly, what I want you to understand is if we want to really cultivate peace among ourselves and to those people around us, we have to understand that real peace comes from God alone. And I just want to read what the Bible says here. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 14, verse 27, Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you to as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. This was actually the time where Jesus Christ told his disciples that as he was leaving the earth, he's going to leave them the Holy Spirit. And this was Jesus Christ assuring them that it is his peace that is going to live with his disciples. But there's actually a contrast here that Jesus made. The contrast between the peace that the world gives and the peace that he gives. And you see, the peace of the world is actually rooted in compromise. Like you have to have this, you have to have that, just for people to have peace in their hearts. But the peace of Jesus Christ is the one that transcends understanding. It allows other people to have peace also because He is the one who utters peace. 
And you would see that when Jesus Christ gave, gave this to his disciples, he also ensured them and he allowed himself to make a promise to his disciples that they can never be troubled and be afraid because it is the peace of God that is with them. So in our lives as Christians, I hope and pray that we would be reminded of these three things. Never conflict would arise. You see, we are never exempted to face conflict in our life. But I hope and pray that we choose to listen, to understand those people around us, that we will choose to clothe ourselves with kindness, and lastly, to understand and know that real peace comes from God alone. Allow me to pray for you. Our Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for granting us His time. It is my prayer, Father, that all the more you will grant peace upon the lives of my brethren. I know, Lord God, that as people, we are never exempted from conflict. Even, Lord, the nation, the world right now, a lot of people, Lord, are facing war. A lot of people are facing conflict. Some of them, Lord, wants to prove that they're in the right reasoning. But it is my prayer, Father God, that, Lord, you will grant peace among the hearts of your people. And allow us, Lord, to truly be reigned by your peace, by your presence. And so, Lord, it is my prayer also that you will grant us your understanding, your wisdom. And in all of these things, allow us, Lord, to be guided by your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God, for granting this time. Guide our actions, our words. Guide every gesture that we're going to do so that when other people would see us, they would see, Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ through our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you.